Hey kids, on today's episode, we're gonna go check out a big block muscle car estate sale. Uh, it's the estate sale of Roy Langlet. Um, and this guy was really big on uh, big block four speed uh, GM cars. Uh, so much so that Hot Rod Magazine did a feature on him in 08. And he went by the name of Roy Carter because he didn't want anybody knowing what he had coming into his stuff probably. So we're gonna go check that out now. We're gonna go to the beautiful state of Idaho. I've never been there before. So we're gonna drive from Washington to Idaho and um, check this out. So without further ado, let's do a time lapse. One, two, three. check out uh, this estate sale, this guy's collection of uh, finished projects and unfinished projects. They got me thinking about my own stuff, my uh, collection, I guess. Um, let me know what you guys are working on. Just like in the uh, 69 Caprice video, um, I'll respond to each and every one of them. I'm interested to know what you guys are working on right now and all the <laughs> bad financial decisions you guys are making. Um, currently, I'm working on, I've been working on this truck recently. And uh, not by choice. I did the timing chain last year. Um, I got a 93 Chevy Dually, 3500. Um, and I did the timing chain last year in the snow outside. Um, I did the tensioner on the last trip. I did a tune up a few months ago. I did tires. I did the brakes like a week ago. Doing a lot of maintenance on it. So it's got 200. 25,000 miles on it. it. Runs great now, though. Still gonna LS swap it on the 6 in here. Um, I'm working on that. So, also I'm working on my Chevelle. I gotta change the fuel pump. It started leaking out of every orifice, so I gotta change that. And uh, the replacement one I bought is like the angle that it comes out changes the angle of the the hard line, the fuel the fuel line, so it hits the block. So I gotta either. I don't know, try to find a different one, or I'm gonna have to make another fuel line for it with a different curve to it. Um, I also ordered some stuff for my Mach 1, my Season 9 Mach 1. Um, I got a lot of new followers recently, so if you haven't seen that car, I'll link the video for my Mach 1 at the end of this video. Um, what else am I working on? Uh, that's about it. Oh, working on the Season 9 Caprice too. So, if you watch this video, saw the other video which I posted well, I'm gonna post today where we actually did get this is not Caprice running it's a uh, 427 four-speed car AC power windows f41 suspension 331 posi 12 volt uh, 8 track comfort tron AC just loaded 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 car oh hideaways of course and um, it's been off the road since 88 and we got it running and driving last week so that was that was pretty um, I got a lot of offers on that car. Hey, look. Well, you probably can't see that, but it was, a, it was one of those 57 Cadillacs uh, with the with the stainless steel roof, four doors. Pretty sure it's a 57. Just roll by, it was red. But anyway, uh, so that's what I'm working on. Let me know what you guys are working on. Drop me a comment. Like I said, I will respond to each and every one of them. I responded to like a thousand comments last video, so give me some time. I'll get to you for sure. So let me know what you're working on, mate. Finally made it to Idaho, pick up my wheels and my Camaro. I'm gonna leave them about $20 down on the Camaro and they said I can leave today, right? I can leave today with this, $20 down? My man. Yeah, this is the car that uh, the wheels I'm picking up was on. What did this car start life as, do you know? It was just a six cylinder car that somebody made into a tribute, but it is a big block M21 car now, the Pro Bowl Posse. Oh, so it's a good, good car to get it and drive. This is beautiful. So it grew up, huh? What's that? I said, so it grew up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, this is nice. This is really nice. And what's the name of your company? 
Specialty cars, trucks, and classics. Specialty cars, trucks, and classics. They'll finance you for a little twenty dollars down. Get you out the door. Ship it to your house, right? I don't know about finance or twenty dollars, but uh, <laughs> we'll certainly ship it to you if you pay for it. There we go. Damn, this looks nice. Have you driven it? Yeah, I put a couple hundred miles on this car. Drove it to Spokane. Really? Picked up with my army buddy from the airport like a week ago, and it's a nice driving car. That's my kind of Uber right there, man. <laughs> That's clean. All right. Well, let's go see the wheel. Um, a little bit of everything. Um, I got a '69 Mach One I'm working on right now. Yeah. It's all uh, faded and uh, original red paint. And then these are gonna probably go on my Chevelle. I got a '70 uh, Chevelle convertible. Woo! Yes. I love the dish on. <laughs> yes. And the cool part is my buddy um, Pontiac Dave has a, a set of fifteen eights. Oh, that would be perfect. For the, the yeah, so I like I like it to be I like to fill the wheel well out front, I, front and back. You know, I had a picture of them on the car. I'll show it to you. Oh did yeah. I, did I send you a picture? Uh uh. They look cool on the car, just not you know. Not for everybody. Not yeah. The most original look for that thing. It wasn't quite as practical, but it looked cool. Yeah, Chevelle's I had, Chevelle's I had have pictures way. Pictures in my ad, but everybody thought, oh wow, a set of four wheels for six ninety five. Yeah, yeah. I had to delete the picture. <laughs> yeah, right. No, it, it'll, the, the Chevelle wheel wheels are way wider than a Camaro. This is perfect. Now that's living, boy. Damn! Hey, you might be a car guy. In a quarter mile, the destination is on your left, 26277 North Chevrolet Way. You might be a car guy, but you don't have a street named after your obsession. That's wild. Chevrolet. Man. The stars are out. So I just want to give you guys a backdrop. So I walked about, I don't know, a quarter mile. I see my truck way down there. So this whole thing is this street. It's called Chevrolet. That's crazy. Look at this mountain. This is living, boy. Okay, I got some more walking to do, so I'm gonna pick up in the, a little further ahead because I'm a little bit out of shape and I want to hear you guys. I want you guys to hear me wheezing. All right, so I'm almost there. They have a bunch of somebody's playing music, so might not be able to get any audio. Well, actually, probably don't need any audio because ain't no cars gonna be running right now. So I'll do my uh, best commentary I can, but uh, I can't wait, man. Like, I'm still walking. Look at this. I'm still walking. And I still gotta go way over there. This is goals already. I gotta walk in my shoes. Yo. I gotta look at the 70 Vista Cruiser real quick. I'm a wacky guy. This is cool. Actual Vista Cruiser, not with the flat top. Man, this is a laser. I think I see a GTO over here. This is nice. This is my favorite year, GTO. 1970. Oh, and a four speed, of course. Of course. I don't know what the story is on this car right here. Somebody said something about Elvis. I got an idea. But yeah, so GTO, Z, split bumper, RS Camaro right here. Big block, of course, if it's sitting in this place. Four speed, naturally. It's gonna be a high horse, yeah, of course. 375 horse. Like, this one is ready to go back together. Fresh paint. You did a nice job on it too. Let's go check out these Mustang. Well, there's one Mustang here. Very few cars here other than uh, Chevys, but this is one of them. And of course, the top of the line, 428 Super Cobra Jet, four speed car, grabber orange. This is the one to have. Yep. The 
Let you guys pause that. Just a beautiful car, man. God, I got to finish my Mach 1. And then this is a big block, four-speed Nova. It's going to go down. This is all big blocks, except for down there, there's a couple small blocks. So they're all four-speeds also. So a 65 car, 65 Corvette, a 65 Corvette. Here's a Tri-Power 67. And here's another Tri-Power 67. God, that's one of the best hoods ever made. That's got to be top, probably top two best hoods ever made. Next to the um, 70 to 72 Olds 442 hood. And then uh, it's so weird to see these cars like this. So here's a 65 Stingray. Here's a big block four speed sitting in front of it. So it's like literally just put it in. All the parts are behind it. You got red line, NOS red lines here. Side pipes, leg burners, NOS, of course, no aftermarket. You know, and then you got the red lines. Like you have a real life model set sitting here. Like, see, you can X a block, you know, brake lines. Just this, this is just so overwhelming. I don't think there's any split windows. Nope. No split. That's amazing. No split window. So here's a roaster, another NOS red line sitting here. Four speed, of course. Big block, 65. And then you just assemble it right here. There you go. Extra uh, roof right there. Here's a 435 horse. Hearse. Oh, that sound like dude from Donut. Uh, 435 horse. Uh, 67 Stingray. Four speed, of course. And look, you know, if, you, if you're storing a Corvette, you know how expensive those are. The distributor, or the distributor shrouds. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful car. I'm not a fan of the roasters. I like the coupes. I love this bicep right here. 69, 427. Tri-power, yep, of course. And then here you can see right there, the distributor shroud that are sitting over in the box that's set right there if i remember correctly because the body's all fiberglass that was meant to block the interference from the airwaves something like that uh yeah tri-power car four speed yes four speed leg burners just crazy california car this is one, four speed, yep. This is a four barrel, like 390 horse, 70. It ain't a 427 in 1970, it should be a 454, right? 69, 335 horse, of course. Looks like Hugger Orange. Yep, L89, aluminum headed, wow. I skipped right past that. And then, yep, four speed. There's a hood for it. Yeah, this is just, I love this body style. Here's an automatic. As you see automatics. Oh, it's an LT1 car. Small block, one of the few small block cars here. This one, I think another small block over here. But yeah, just put it together. Here's a whole chassis. I don't know where the body is just though. I don't see a, um, I didn't see a, um, just a straight body. Unless that's, oh, okay. So, okay, this is the one that's sitting in the, um, in the parts room over there. This is the body for that blue one sitting there. Nice. So it's already done. It's probably a high horse, 435 horse. Let me guess. So running. Yeah, 435 horse tri-power, of course. So all done. Good to go. Uh, 62 vet, fuely, of course, because why wouldn't it? It's an automatic. Um, 67, this one's cool. This is an automatic car, but it's got a 572 in it. There's about four cars here with 572s in them. So what you think of just a regular, you know, big block SS is actually a 572. Not sure if it's a 620 or 720 horse. Uh, 67 Chevelle. Another uh, big block SS. Is it a four speed? Heck yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about. This one's ready to go, man. It's got a book right there. I'm sure it's for the restoration. Yep. Yeah, restoration pictures, so that's awesome. This brake car. Just beautiful. And then, yeah, Snow 67. They got real live die cast models. Just assemble it yourself. It's just so crazy. This I just keep tripping off this. The engine sitting in front of the cars is just wild to me. Um, but yeah, so uh, 430 horse, original engine, 572 now. Oh yeah, so here's another one. It's got a 572 in it. But he doesn't have the 572 valve covers. He has stock ones. He's making a sleeper. And they don't have the little, they don't have the big indent for the, um, to clear the booster like this one does. See how it's, Hope smashed, yeah, to clear the booster. So he must be going with a smaller booster on that one. Is it an automatic or four speed? Do, 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 blue on blue is gorgeous. Four speed, yes. No vinyl top, yes. And then everything to put it together right here. God, that's awesome. That is awesome. So yeah, 66 sitting here. Also four speed car. Um, boom, here's the, ooh, oh, the head's got all done, 68 casting, so not the correct engine for it, and it's a 402, built out to a 375 horse, here's a four-speed sitting there, but this, this is the coolest one here, this is the coolest one here, so this is supposed to be an LS6, uh, Chevelle LS6 convertible four-speed car. So here is with a 512 block LS6. Um, look at that real quick. So everything's correct. Uh, correct winter. Ooh, smack my own phone. Got so excited. Uh, okay, so correct winter's intake here. Heads are all done. Luckily, you labeled everything. So all of the. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Come on now. You can do it. There we go. Boom. So. Labeled all the carbs, so there's all the correct carburetors for it. Here's the um, the uh, bolts for the valve covers. So, but check this car out. I would literally slap that in. The four speed's still in the car. I would slap this in there and hit the strip. Um, look at this. These are all decals, and it says it was done by this guy. So, uh, uh, EPS Custom by Jeff. I don't know what that says. Flapper. Something flapper. Something to do with the flapper. So, but yeah, four-speed car. I would open the doors, but they are shut and taped shut. So, like I said, these are decals on them. But I would be... I would just slap that in there and get it running. I don't know how the floors look. There might be a reason why. It's not in there now, but I would just put it back together and drive it as soon as possible. Just like this. And then eventually restore it i don't know the original colors for it but it's a cool car early build with the um headlight bucket trim but it's just an awesome car and it looks so crazy with the the engine sitting right here just that that's the shot right there look at that put some ss wheels on it put 15 8s in the front 15 10s in the back 295s in there Ugh. and then so here we go uh, another 70 Big block sitting here, and it is an LS6 with smog. Wow, so everything LS6 heads, block, non-functional cow. It looks like shadow gray here, but it's actually, and then it's got red here, but it looks, looks shadow gray there, but this one looks green. So that'd be a really weird color combination if it is green either Forest or Fathom, with red interiors, like a Christmas car. A lot cooler if it was shadow gray. So, yeah, but just look at this. Like, just wow. So let's go check out this one. So this is the side where you got projects that are, a lot of them are fresh painted, body work done. So uh, it's a 72 SS, small block. So um, SS350, non-cow hood, da da da. Uh, this one's cool. So this is a, what is this, a 71 big block car? Let's see, 72 big block car. 
So, uh, it says a 450 horse. Oh, no, it's correct for all those. Uh, 396, 454, and the 450 horse L6. So that's got to be a 70 uh, coated one. Tear done. Automatic. But look at this vinyl top car. And you just put all this into it. Good to go. It's a cool color. I don't know what color it is. But it's cute. <laughs> Earth tones. Functional cow hood. 71. Let's see. No, it doesn't say anything. But ready to go. Painted and good to go. This one's ready to hit the strip right now. 71. Big block. 454 car, automatic, no, almost ready. Little 409 on those, cherry. What's going on, man? You got a channel? Uh, yeah. It's uh, Desi Speed Shop. I think I skimmed past your channel the other day, actually. Oh, yeah, check the video out then, man. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Good luck, man. Thank you, you too. <laughs> but yeah, you just put it all, put it all together. You know, just beautiful. This one's ready to go. And then, I like this green right here, 70. Like, this is, oh, this is it. This is it. This is it right here. So, this one's really ready to go. Like, probably, I don't know, two weeks of work. If this runs, back in there, good to go. And this is a 390 horse, 454, correct for a Monty. I know you can get a 390 horse in a, in a Monte Carlo. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, put that in there, four speed. Yeah. What we got here? Bottom dream. Oh, here we go. Uh, M21. This is original transmission, 450 horse. That's just M20, yeah. M22, 21, 21. And then you got all the paperwork for the engine right here. And there's two, this is weird, so... There's two big blocks here. Well, there's three big blocks here. That one's definitely for that car. So there's two here, I guess, for that car. That was extra special. You've got a date night and a late night engine. And this one is 390 horse, 454, four speed. Love that color right there, man. Love that color. Love that color. Functional cow hood. Another functional cow hood. Just beautiful, man. But this one says that the 427, at least the valve cover say that. Mm -hmm. And it's got a four speed in there. Oh, here we go. L78 car. Do, 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 four speed. Muncie now has dash pad. Da, da, da. Dark blue. And then yeah, let's come over here, assemble it all. You know, good to go. There's there's about 60, 70 grills here in a row. But just this is so overwhelming. 66. Everything you need for it right here. A real life model kit. This also, this car, you know, finish the top. It must be a vinyl top car for them to only paint to the that part. So slap a vinyl top on there, put everything in it. Still got the holes for the trim. Put the trim on. Four-speed car. Somebody made that a four-speed car. Ooh. Yeah, big block. Oh, I love that air cleaner. Got another air cleaner base. 66. 70. This one is ready for paint. Yeah, somebody did the... See here? Somebody did all the body work on this car. Four-speed car. Uh, What is it? What we got here? A 402 350 horse. This one's ready to go, man. Ready to paint it. Uh, bright blue bench, astro blue interior. So blue on blue, probably a white top. Yeah, four-speed car. Just beautiful, man. You know, it would have been cool to see these cars uh, in the buildings. Like all these buildings over here, just as they were. Because he obviously had piles for everything. Um, labeled and everything, so uh, 69 Chevelle, another 70 
put it together. This one's really rough. This is a, ooh, a no speed. But big block, of course, four speed, M21 goes with it. Um, under 70, big block, functional cow hood. Ugh, this one. So this one right here, this is the other one, the other car here with the uh, 572. But it's also got air conditioning. Yes, air conditioning. So can't beat that. And I'm an El Camino fan for sure. Not a not a violent top fan, but I'm an El Camino fan. And it's an automatic. Look at that interior, man. Fresh. This one's ready to go. He must have been driving this one. Yeah. Battery works. Yeah, this is. Mm. So and then we got another El Camino here, another 70. Uh oh, I love the bitch four speed. Love that. With the Muncie on it, early, early build. And then a functional hood here. So, big block four speed, you ready to party. Uh, original four speed, black four speed car. So, original black car and a four speed. That's rare. And there's a bunch of NOS goodies inside of it. Let's see. NOS wheel trim. The floors are nice. New t new uh hump. Four speed. So there's, that's, that's the weird part. So there's a four speed in it. And then the four speed goes with it. It's a gift that keeps on giving. So um yeah, so this is a 71. Big block also. So that's cool. 71 big block. 71 or two. Uh with a big block here. 72, and then 60, so you got 62 and Paula here, convertible, and then a hard top. But being that they're here, they're not gonna be just regular Impalas, no. This is a four and a quarter horse, 409, dual quad. No, this engine's done, ready to go. You know, and then somebody, it's got a four speed in it. Yeah, then yeah, assemble everything here. Everything you need for it. This would be a cool car then. We got the Idaho plate. And this guy's eyeballing my car. <laughs> <laughs> it's another high I don't horse. Know if it's original four speed car, dude. I don't think it is. No. Some weird Whoa! Shit. I don't know. Does that look like? Does that look original to you? Mm, I don't know. It's, cut, cut out, it's like right? pop riveted on. Yeah, sheet metal screws looks like. It'd be. I think it would be stamped though. Look how far the transmission. Well, the tunnel would be stamped instead of just like cut like that. Yeah, yeah. That's look at the booster. Look how close it is to the. Yeah. Instead of over there. Original. Yeah, I've never seen that kind. Yeah, maybe it's putting. They probably put a smaller yeah, one on there to get it in there. Mm, maybe it's putting uh, Fender exit headers. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna Damn. bang against you. Yeah, I've never seen them like that before. You romp on it, I'm gonna right. Here we go, 396, uh, 67 Caprice, 70 El Camino, or not El Camino, I'm tripping. Uh, old. So it's it's actually an SX. This is like only the second SX I've ever seen. 455. 435 or 375 horse. It's getting late in the day. Forgive me. So, of course, it's the top of the line one here because it's here. And this is a four speed. It's got the Astro Bench. Uh, nope, column shift. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. What's your YouTube channel? Desi Speed Shop. Desi Speed Shop. Yeah. D E Z Z Y Speed Shop. Yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. An SX. So let's uh, let's do the project car. Look at these, look at these hoods, man. Like, guarantee you need one of these hoods right now. And it's just sitting here. And if you don't need it, your wall needs it. But I need it. So let's uh, let's look at the other part. So this right here is cool. So this is a '67 
Biscayne. If I can tie my shoelace, there we go. Okay, so 67 Biscayne sleeper car, big block, four speed. It's gotta be the high horse I've seen there. Oh, actually, put a 420. We put a 454 in here with a 427 cranks. Made a stroker out of it. 13,000 13, miles on it. So, big block, four speed car. M20 wide ratio. So, Biscayne sleeper. Still has the um, <laughs> the plastic on the upper part. Yeah. And then you got more. You got all the interior here. So, I saw a 61 Impala over here. So, 62 Impala convertible. Somebody did all the, the, the paint and bodywork. Matter of fact, let's look at that real quick. Somebody did all the paint and bodywork on this. I just ready to go. Automatic. High horse 409, though. Convertible. So this this would be cool to finish and, and do one of those two with this. But yeah, so a four and a quarter horse. This is a 409 horse, four speed, power top. I can see a four speed in there. Oh, so he was converting to a four speed. There's a shifter right there. So that'd be a cool car. But this right here, Looks like it's an SS though. It's got the grill guard. All right, guys, love those. So this is a solid car. Um, somebody butchered the floor right there. But it looks like it's an SS, which would be a 409 car because, leave me a comment. Isn't this right here the crest for an SS though? Like, these are like the regular Impala trim, but isn't this right here the crest for uh, an SS? Let me know. This thing is solid, man. Solid. And then you got a, I don't know how to say it right, Yo, man. Uh, Two-door 58 wagon. Like, that's cool. And then you got, this wants to be a Black Widow. So bad. You know. Cool car we got in here. 302. Oh well, it's got a Z28 engine. Well, at least the air cleaner for it. Probably is a Z28 being here. Four speed two. Nope. Automatic. This is a nice car. This car is ready to go. I think those are 60. I think those are 66 or 67 Chevelle dog dishes. Maybe 67 Chevelle and Camaro. And then, yeah, split bumper Camaro sitting here. We got to keep going. We got to go faster. Okay, uh, 69 Corvette. Partial project. 69. Yeah, 69 El Camino. 71 El Camino SS. Uh, 71 El Camino. 69 El Camino. This says... This is an SS. So, 70 SS. LS6. 400 non-cal one of 12 what non-cal but i see a cow but yeah i guess this is an ls6 el camino which is super rare and here we go here's the um it's so cool he labeled everything so um not only did he tell you what which one it is but it's also the one with smog and we'll fit camaro big block Heads, um, what does it say about this? 512 block, that's an LS6 block. So, yeah. Boom. Good to go. Uh, 69 El Camino. Oh, I want this so bad. Oh, I want a 66 or 67 Nova so bad. I like the 7s better, but I wouldn't kick a 68, 6 out. So, yeah, same hubcap. Um, God, I want this body. This one's, this one's ready to paint. Damn near. A little work there. Uh, looks like somebody made it a 4 speed. All the hard to find tears sitting here. Try to find a, a front seat for one of these. Good luck. And then this is weird. Uh, C3 Buick. There's gotta be a reason why this is here. It's gotta be a high horse or something. I don't know. No? It's just here. Right past that. Um, 66. Yeah, 66. Another 66. Oh, 67. And then this El Camino. Whoo! Sad life. Sad life. So that's that's it, man. Um, so he, he would do an annual show. He did it for about seven years. Yeah. Uh, maybe more. Wow. 
Definitely had the room for it. Week before the 4th of July, usually. Yeah. Wow. That's so awesome. Big party. And everybody just get it, walk through the buildings and everything and look at all the stuff. Yeah, he would open up all the buildings and let people have at it. That's amazing. I mean, the, the buildings that had all the parts and stuff for these buildings kind of up. Uh, they more. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's 150 acres here? All right, one time? Yeah, uh, we have 160 at one time. My brother's and I each own part of it. There's 125 left. Dang. And that's our goal. Yeah. We, we want to keep the land. Yeah, nice compound. So, cool. Love the love the backdrop. We'll, we'll keep the keep the property and hopefully somebody gets to enjoy these cars. Yeah. That's the my dad did. Yeah. He loved having them and he loved sharing them with people and having people come look at them. And I'm sure he loved the hunt of finding the car. That's the best part to find the car. Yeah, he was a pretty good wheeler dealer too. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, that car's not worth that. <laughs> Until he owned it. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah no wow, this is awesome what's your, what's your name michelle desi desi nice yeah. to meet you nice to meet you as well are you gonna be here this weekend uh yeah i'll probably be back tomorrow and sunday okay yeah i'm 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 gonna stay in nice spokane so i'll be around all right well i'll see you this weekend okay